Well, the seventh race is an E-Division uh, merit rated 60 handicap, and uh, this is over the distance of 1,600 meters. The time there will be 1,500 hours, 3 o'clock, all things being equal at Hollywood Bets Gravel, where we're on the poly track. Very tough race, a race that you want to get involved in for trifectas, quartets. Try and play a percentage of the quartet here, or maybe play it multiple times if you're confident with any of your choices. Warren, 5, 4, 3, and 11, and uh, D's will go 4, 5, 11, and 1. We both seem to like uh, the two horses uh, for first and second, not in the same order, but uh, Warren, work, Rocky request to beat Grand Maestro. Uh, those look to be the two horses that we seem to be the common denominator in our selections. They are D's, they certainly are. It's a 60 handicap as we've told the viewers. Well, I looked, Grand Maestro looks to be the obvious horse to beat. Yes. Good old Rocky case. I, I had a, a, a stroke of luck, I would say, last time when I studied and I looked at uh, Rocky Coast and I thought it had a big chance. Uh, I did take a little bit of 40 to one, uh, flew up, and uh, ran an absolute cracker running third. I did cover with some places, so I was quite thrilled. It was my very Unlucky series. that day, Warren. Very unlucky, Dees. Uh, very, very. In fact, don't remind me too much about it. <laughs> so don't sorry. remind me too much about it. So, Rocky Coast flew. I haven't seen a horse run on as fast as that in a long time. How reliable he is, I don't know. He's going to need to repeat that performance. He's dropped in the ratings considerably down to a 58. He was drawn 11 out of 11 last time, kind of drawn on Monday. So, not with any confidence, but he was so good, nearly, well, he was good to me because I did cover with places. So, I'm rowing in. That's what chose, uh, swayed me to go with Rocky Coast over Grand Maestro, but no doubt, Grand Maestro, your first choice, is the horse to beat. Well, the stars were just not aligned last time out, Warren, so hopefully it can get uh, better this time round, but well found at uh, 40 to 1 last time out. So, 5-4... Now, it doesn't stop there, does it? I mean, if no. you look past these two horses, if one of them don't come up trumps for the exotics, then this could be a bomb result. Bomb. Bomb of all bombs. These, if, I think we must explain, well, uh, suggest, I should say, is that's the right word to the viewers. If we can afford or, uh, the field, it, you know, put the field in or as many as you can and, and maybe take a lesser percentage because, as you've just said, in this race, if a 66 to 1 shot had to win, we wouldn't be surprised. I mean, how many times has it happened? You, you, you try and play, you know, six, seven out of 12 runners on the poly track and the, the horses that you don't include, you know, come through. So I think that's a good way of playing it. My rule in, 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 in the exotics, it's a simple one. If it's more than half the field that I've included, I've now included the field. So what we're saying is six is the number on the poly track because only 12 runs. So if it's more than six, maybe go with that. Go with the field if it's more than six. But uh, we'll see how Warren's horse goes. Yep, I think I'll be watching this race with great anticipation because he found it last time at 40 to 1. Let's see how we can go one better this time out, finishing third. That's Rocky Coast for Frank Robinson. Warren Lenferner, 5, 4, 3, and 11.